So I want to talk about why you and myself can't play to your golf handicap because it's bugging me or one day you can and one day you can't. What's the inconsistency? So I'll make this dead easy. I'm in a three day festival playing three courses, Formby, Fairhaven, today where we are now at West Lanks and I'll be out in an hour. First day, 39 points. Bad conditions. I end up getting 39 points, four over gross over. Yesterday we played in really benign conditions, some were out, course were very short, standard scratch must have been two better, and I shot 24 points. My game from one day to another was absolutely shocking. Were, like I said, the first day, tight fairways, long holes, I were hitting my driver straight down the middle. Yesterday I couldn't hit a thing. So what is this inconsistency? My thoughts, so you can't play to your handicap, are is it technique, your ability, is it mindset, the way you go out, I mean yesterday we were playing, I had it in my head, the night before I was just going to tee off with a four iron on the first hole, not bring the bunkers and play, I had it all in my head, got on the tee, pulled over driver, is it mindset, I don't know, rhythm, that'll be a big thing, not sure, I'm going to ask the golfers about it and ask them why they can't or can't play to the handicap. What's your name? Uh, John Dutton. Handicap? Uh, 17 now. How long have you been playing, John? I've been playing for 54 years. 54 years? Yeah. What's the lowest you've been to? Four. Four. So you're a, you've been a good player in your time? Well, I've been able to play good golf, yes. Question for you, which yes. has been bugging me for a long time. Yes. Why do those amateurs struggle to play to our handicap? Well, because the handicap system is really it's not meant for every time you go out to play you play to your handicap if you play to your handicap two three times a year that's what the handicaps that's what it's for right and it's not meant for people to be coming out every week to go in competition <coughs> and good putting good scores in and if they are doing their handicaps wrong i think where i'm getting at is one day i can come out and play to my handicap play the next day in the same conditions and been nowhere near my handicap thinking is the reason technique rhythm i'm a thinking i'm a plotting the claws right it's all these factors well it's nothing to do with that is it the thing is you might as well ask the best golfer in the world why is it one day it'll do a 64 and next day it'll do a 72 yeah that's a very fair point that isn't it right uh i'm on pat handicap uh, nine, I think. How long have you been playing, Pat? Uh, I would say s over 60 years. Right, question for you. Yeah. Why can us amateurs not play to our handicap regular? Well, like I'm uh, saying to most people, it's because we're amateurs. Otherwise, we'd, we'd, we'd make a living out of it. So there's no particular reason? No, no, no. It's Skill, just, rhythm, anything? That's why we you keep... This? Was that not... So that's, the answer is just amateurs? Just because we're amateurs. I mean, so there's no... What there's about no, tempo, skill? There's no amateur, no pro, in fact plays good all the time is it so playing good is is to your handicap right? yes so i mean even, even the pros on telly they come out and they win majors and then the next time you see them right down the, the list and that's them now imagine amateurs you have no chance that's why we love the game because you don't know what's going to happen stephen barlow handicap 11. how long have you been playing oh um, 11 years I think right Let, can you give me some reasons why us amateurs can't consistently play to our handicap what, what would they be I don't know conditions of the course some days you're driving well at golf you either drive well then your second shots are not so good or your approach shots are not so good or sometimes your putting's not so good or your bunker play can cost you any of them four or five shots can cost you points so nothing to do with skill rhythm anything like that well it can be skill rhythm swing but it's doing it consistently. Up in your head thinking? Yeah, you're only supposed to, I believe, is it handicap twice a year. Right, cheers for that. No problem. Yeah. So we've we got? Right, EBP. How long have you been playing? Uh, 30 odd years. Handicap? 15. Right, question for you. Why does those amateurs not regular play to our handicap? Right, a lot of it is uh, basically we don't practice enough like the pros do. Uh, we don't get have the same rhythm every time we come out like the pros do. We don't know our yardages. There's a lot of things that... Uh, it's not just yeah. a few things, would you say? Oh, I think there's a lot of things, yeah. We play, play the Hollywood shot where we should be playing a 
bump and running. We watch the telly, watch these pros, bang it in, spin it back. Right, the reason I'm, I'm asking this, I, I played three days on the boat. First day, I played my handicap seven and I played to four on a hard course. The day after, I played to about 24. The day after that, I played to about 10. What do you say the reasons? Well, how many beers did you have to start with? I had, a, I had one late night out of them and one early night. Yeah, well, there you go. Late night's no good, is it? Well, yeah. probably not, no. Yeah. Uh, don't know. What, what, what conditions? Conditions different every day? Uh, the day I got 24 points, the conditions were perfect. The, the day I got 39 points, the conditions were horrendous. Well, I reckon maybe you concentrated more in the harder conditions. That's a point, isn't it? Yeah, that that absolutely. is absolutely. So concentration yeah. could be a big Concentration's thing. a big thing, isn't it? Thanks for that, Pete. No, no problem. Malcolm Brownhill. Handicap. 14. How long have you been playing? 20 odd years. Question for you. Why do those amateur golfers not consistently play to our handicap? Well, we just don't practice enough. Is that it? Practice? I think practice, yeah. We yeah but one day like, we can go and play better in our handicap, and the next day we can well, play Well, no one day you do everything right, and one day the next day you don't. There must be reasons. Have you not got any, what other reasons would you say? Well, if I'm not playing with you, I usually play better. Right, so that's one reason. You can play better if I'm not involved. Oh, in yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. Right, there must be a reason. I, I'm trying to think, tempo, how are you thinking your head? Take shots on, don't take shots on. Yeah, we're don't. just not clever enough to play golf. You have to be clever to play golf, and you ain't. What about yourself? Oh no, and me, I'm as well, yeah. So you're saying... When I think everything is going right for me, I play well, and when I don't, it doesn't. So you don't play to your handicap, sometimes you will blame either me, your playing partners, or if you don't think right. You yeah. know what you're saying? Yeah, I don't think Thought right. process. Nothing the whole to do with thing. Timing, skill. Yeah, all that comes into it. So there's more then than oh, just... Oh, there's loads of things, and if you can remember everything to do the rent at the right time, you're good. And if you don't, you know it's so good. So that's why we're in inconsistent? I would say so. Dave Paxton Jr. Handicap? 12. Years been playing? Well I'm 63 now and I started playing when I was about 25, 26. So you've been playing a long time? Uh, yeah. Enough? Quite a while. Yeah. Right, question for you. Say if you go out Saturday, you don't play to your handicap, go out Sunday, don't do, or whatever you do different and absolutely smash your handicap. So you can play to your handicap regular. What would you say the reason is, or the reason isn't, you don't or do play to your handicap? Uh, I don't really know. That's a million dollar question, Liam. For people who are sort of standing in golf. I mean, the lowest I, I've been single figures when I was younger, but only down to, I think the lowest I ever got to was nine. Uh, and I'm playing off 12 now. But 12 is still it's a about, good handicap. Yeah, but it's consistency. So you uh, say it's consistency? I, I think so. It's consistency and practice. Uh, because if you think about it, professionals, it, it's all day every day for them, ain't it? That's how they earn their living. If we were that yeah. good, that's how we, we'd be earning ours. John Dudson, who's been interviewed, he's been playing 50 years. And he's, his words were, professionals can go out and shoot 62, then go out tomorrow and shoot 74. Exactly. Who do it for a living, and technically they're the best exactly. players in the world. But you've only got to look at old man Pat that you play with all the time. I mean... I've never played with anybody as consistently good as him. I mean, he's as straight as a die, one thing or another, but he's been playing since he was a young lad. Yeah. And yeah. caddying and one thing or another. And it's just. I think the difference with Pat, his rhythm is the same all the time. He hits fairways. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's not the longest, but he chips and puts. And there's, to be honest, there's never a double bogey in Pat. So, worst he's going to do is get a bogey and he's off nine. So, he can well, afford well, to exactly. bogey nine holes and but, par nine but it's holes. It's all up there with him as well because he knows what he's doing. He knows how to play the course, particularly around here. But if you go away and play somewhere else with him, you know, he'll soon get into the hang of it. I suppose if you're at middle of the fairway, you're never going to be in trouble, are you? No, well, that's it. If you, it it's like my old fellow, as you know. I mean, he's 86 now, but even though he's lost all his distance and everything, you go out with him, he still hits the ball straight down the middle. Every time it's, you know, his distance is gone. But that's, I don't know, my thing is my temper. I get frustrated with myself because so, I think I can play better than I do play and I hit the ball. Well, that, what you've, now that is a lot of people have said that. Trying shots, what sometimes we're not capable, or only going to come off two, two out of eight times. Well, that's the thing, and you can play in a friendly game if you play without a card in your hand. Or if you go out and play in a competition, you go 13, 14 holes and you think, well, this is not going to win anything. And your head goes. But then you think, oh, 
and then you just relax and you start playing you say well where's that been for the first 13 holes so that is a great thing people can play to their handicap put a scorecard in their hand well exactly and they can yeah. play different then can yeah, the thought exactly. process everything yeah it's nerves and, and whatever they try to play better when they put a card in the hand but when you come here you're playing in a comp or a major or something you think well there is a know, bit that are, that there is an added pressure isn't there even that today you go out and you start off and you're a four-man team and you play and you think oh we'll do all right just for the camera it's been best two from the four today hasn't well, it? well exactly yeah but you go out and play and you think right well I know everybody, that, other than one lad that we've, I've never played with before, but you go out and you think, well, two from four, we've got a chance. And then... Pressure's and then it on does. as four as if well, the first two everybody. people yeah. knob the tee shots, the well, pressure's on and then, you, isn't it? And then you think with four of you, you think even if you're out of the hole, that somebody else is going to come in behind you. But when you're all, if you don't all gel and, you know, it's like this. We played today where the 18th was all four scores to count. So there's added pressure then, isn't there? Well, there is, because, you know, and I said to everybody on the tee, nothing silly because it's all four scores to count you know we walk off i bogeyed it lynchy bogeyed it i think gary parred it and the other one with us got no score so there is pressure then well, isn't there there? Is, yeah so well, pressure's a big thing pressure, isn't it yeah, it's is. it is for us our standard of golf right thanks for but that david it. you're welcome craig jones handicap <laughs> five how long have you been playing 34 years question for you let's just say you go out saturday you're off five you shoot 75 to your handicap, you go out Sunday, you shoot 85. Do you have any logic to that? Any reasons why we do this? No, not no. really. Try too hard, I think, each time. Is when, I, when I have a good game, then the next game I'm trying again. To get better. better. What, so you're thinking too much? I'm thinking too much. So you're putting pressure on yourself, would you say, or not? Or? Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking I can birdie every hole. So you're going for career shots all the time? Okay, all the time. Do you do that a lot? Yeah. Is that a bit of a, what, could hold you back a bit more? I just think I can play every shot him in the bag and I can't. So you think you're Tiger Woods? <laughs> yeah. So that's your problem, you think you're Tiger Woods? I think I'm better than I am, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that's fair enough. Cheers. No worries. Right, so the conclusion could be a, a few things. I'm going to have my conclusion on it. Until uh, Dave Paxton mentioned scorecard, that, that's a spanner in the works. But I would say for me personally, why I don't consistently play to my handicap will be confidence and what I mean by that is on my course it's a long par for the first stall and if I bang one down the middle then hit a good mid iron on the green and par it I tend to play to my handicap that day on that course sounds stupid sounds weird but it's how I it's how I work so it's my makeup uh, thinking sometimes maybe never pressured with a scorecard don't feel pressured anyway now yourselves, I don't know why you don't play to your handicap, but if you listen to old man Pat, who Dave spoke about, Pat is the most consistent golfer I know. But he's got rhythm, repeats what he's doing, maybe that's one. And also, he just puts it in the right place. He's a, he's a thinker, he thinks we're a bad missus. He's, he's very clever. So, you've got all sorts of, which it could be just, the cliche could just be because we're amateurs. Maybe, maybe not, but... Uh, I'd love your comments below. Tell me why yourselves don't think you play to your handicaps regular. Alright, I've been Liam Harrison. Comment below, I'll reply to everyone. See you soon.